Today we're going to talk about the writing process and um, for many of you this will be a review and that's okay. Um, sometimes we just need a little refresher. We're getting ready to start our research papers so um, refresher on the writing process is pretty important. Okay, there are five steps in the writing process. The first step in the writing process is pre-writing. The second is drafting. The third is revising the fourth is editing, and the fifth is publishing. Now, if you haven't already set up your Cornell notes, please go ahead and do that now as we're getting ready to go ahead and go into each one of these processes individually. So let's first look at pre-writing. Pre-writing is getting your thoughts down on your paper. And there's many ways that you can do this. Um, there's free writing. You can do an outline, you can take notes, um, brainstorming, you can create a web and jot list or just a few of them. I prefer a jot list. Um, I s sometimes feel like I spend more time on a web than is necessary, but um, it's really your preference and what works best for you. So remember that pre-writing is just getting everything that's in your head down on your paper. Okay, the next step is drafting. And drafting is when you're taking all of those ideas that you put down on a paper and you're putting them together in sentences and paragraphs. So that's basically when you know you've got all of these ideas and then you start going into more detail and you're creating the actual paper itself. Okay, now you've got your paper written, and now you're going to get into the revision stage. And the revision stage is when you go back and you read your paper and you're like, hmm, um, that sentence doesn't sound right, or that is not a very good word. So the revising is rewriting or rearranging your sentences to make sense and making changes and improvements in word choice. And I know that you've all heard of that the weak words like good. We don't want to use the word good. You want to use something better than good. Um, if you read your paper and you see that you have used a lot of the same words over and over again, that's when you want to change those up. So again, revising is when you go back and you reread your paper and you're looking for ways to improve it, not just in different sentences, but different words, rearranging. This is a very important part of the writing process. This is where you really get to make your improvements. Now you're getting to the publishing stage. You've done all of your revisions. Okay, now you're making your paper neat. Okay, so you've got your, revi your revised paper and you've rewritten it. Now we can read it. We don't have lines through it and, you know, arrows going here and there. When um, Ms. Burroughs writes a paper and I have get done revising it, I have arrows all over, I have X's, I have words crossed out everywhere. So when I get ready to publish, I have to rewrite that whole thing and make it neat. Otherwise, no one would be able to read it. And you're also getting ready to share your work. Um, if it's not neat, you surely can't share it. Okay, and finally, editing. Okay, this is the part where you're going back and you're correcting grammar, punctuation, capitalization, and spelling. Now, you may say, well, Ms. Burroughs, shouldn't you have done that before you published it? Well, part of that does go on, but let's say, for instance, you get to that writing test in January and you're getting ready to turn it in. You're, you've got three minutes left and you're going back over and you see a punctuation error or a capitalization error or something something small not huge um, you, this is the time to go ahead and and take care of it you may strike out any errors that you have that doesn't mean if you have a word misspelled that you scribble all over it and rewrite it no just draw a line through it a simple line is all you need and then write the correct word above it that's all you got to do and on the writing test in January, they will not count out for this. 
they would rather have you show that you've made a correction on a spelling error or a grammar error and corrected it than they care about that line that you drew through the word. So no worries if you get to the end, even on your research paper that you're going to turn into me. If on the last day you're getting ready to hand it to me and you see a spelling error, just simple line straight through it and write the correct word above it. All right, so that is the writing process and you shouldn't have um, had too much trouble with this. This should all be a review and we will get started on our research paper shortly. Good luck.